top 10 gorilla songs. Uh, yeah, I am a fan of gorillas. Um, I really love Demon Days, that is a classic. I love uh, Plastic Beach. I don't love everything about it. I think the Snoop Dogg feature is kind of unnecessary and something else or you know some rap is kind of unnecessary to me but uh, there are some songs that I really love on that record so there we go. Um, there's a fucking ball that got to me. I'm, I'm opening my curtain for like one fucking second and already some fucking weirdos looking at me. Which I don't really like. Uh, so we're gonna react to this. I think fl uh, Flexible Music Lover requested this one like a fucking year ago. So let's do it. Uh, what's gonna be on the list? Yeah, I've seen the list already. A uh, Feel Good Inc. of course. That's probably my favorite. On Melancholy Hill. Empire Ends, Kids With Guns, pretty much um, Demon Days, Blessed Beach, those are golden records for me. Night in 2000, Clint Eastwood of course, um, yeah something like that, Rock the House. Yeah, we're gonna turn on the lights. No good ink. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, rhinestone eyes. Yeah, there we go. I mean, Plastic Beach. It isn't the most consistent album, but some of the songs on that album are just fantastic. Some of my all-time favorite Gorilla songs. This track was scrapped at the last minute. To be the fourth and I, I, I do love them though, I do love the Gorillaz. They're just not a really consistent band though. They pretty much made three classic albums. Then they made like a really mediocre iPad, you know, um, an album made by the iPad by David Albarn, Damon Albarn, which was the first album produced with an iPad, I believe. So there we go. Anime humans. And the no no is pretty good though, that's a pretty good album again. Pretty much the best album since Plastic Beach, really. With elements of trip hop and some faux rapping from 2D. It's groovy, psychedelic, and electric. I love this song. And despite not being released as a single, Rhinestone Eyes still made the top 40 of Billboard's alternative songs chart. I, I know this is kind of inappropriate, but does somebody else here? I like Dig 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 Dig. <laughs> you know, but Noodle. Which is kind of inappropriate because I believe she was still a minor back then, so don't do that. Of course, she's saying um, electric, you know, electric trick trick. You know, she's saying that, but it, so it sounded like something else to me. I do not get the noodle chasing the band and the band having a fake noodle, a noodle robot. I don't get that idea, but it's a great song though, I love the song. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen this list like many times before, so I do know it. Featuring a horn loop from John Dankworth, as well as some solid rap verses from Delve of Funky Homo Sapien. This song is one of the group's more distinctly hip hop flavored tunes. It is catchy though. I don't really mind the rap, but I can't do without. Jazz and rock. No, love that. 
Is Too D supposed to be Damon Albarn? Yeah, he is a singer, so. Another classic cartoon video featuring the band paying homage to films like The Shining and Mr. Freedom. That ass, though. That Murdoch ass. Uh, this is 19,000, though. This song. This is, the, this is a chill song. 19, 2000. The world is spinning too fast. The second single from their debut album. This is a great song. Right? I love this song. Nice melody from 2D, and then Noodle, voiced by Tina Weymouth from The Talking Heads, jumping in with a short but catchy chorus. That's pretty cool, though. That they got uh, the Talking Heads to do that. I'm not a big fan of Talking Heads, but. I mean, that is a highly acclaimed band though, so respect there. The second Gorilla single also made the top 10 in the UK, as well as the top 40 of Billboard's pop and alternative charts. There's a monkey in the jungle. Go between his conflict between his brain and his tail. I've heard that song a lot though, I can almost memorize all the lyrics. I love this song, uh, Empire Ants. Number seven, Empire Ants. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is a great song, right there. Adding to the gorilla's Have I done this list before? I don't think so. High profile guests I've seen it before, but I don't think I've re reacted to it so far. Number features the Swedish band Little Dragon. Just the instrumentation, the the piano, the soft pop piano chords, the little dragon's uh, guest vocal, it's just all perfect, I love this song. I would say from here on now, gorillas choose just get fucking flawless in my opinion. The result is this almost four minute tune with front woman... Uh, what was number 10? Singing ever so sweetly with Damon Albarn fuck, I forgot. over a sample. Oh, uh, Ryan, oh fuck, I fucking love Ryan tonight, uh, 9, yeah, I'm not too big on Rock the House, it's a good song, but it's probably the weakest so far, number 8 was Night of the Dial, I love that song too, so the only song that I don't love is Rock the House, which I still like, and the rest so far I love, I love all the songs. I, I do like that the the theme of plastic beach is kind of like a beachy kind of submarine kind of vibe that they that they're having because everyone is like a, uh, a captain or a shader or something. I do like that that kind of concept in the in an album. Occasionally sang Empire Ants with the band at certain points during the Gorillas' Escape to Plastic Beach tour. I would say that Plastic Beach is probably their last great album though. I still still love the band, but. I think they did kind of dip in quality after that. The fall, humans. The no, no, it's decent, I guess. Number six, kids with guns. Kids with guns. Kids with guns. Taking over. Better one be long. Featuring guest vocals from Nina Cherry. This song I believe this is on their underrated singles list. From what Mojo? You know, some people might might even say that Gorillaz had a had a decline in quality after this album, really. But how do you follow up Demon Days, really? One of my all-time favorite rappers. It is kind of crazy to think about that, um, you know, that Gorillaz is way bigger than Blur because, you know, Damon Albarn is in the band and Gorillaz is just way bigger. Literally. On Melancholy Hill. This is probably my all-time favorite Gorilla song. This is just fucking pure pop perfection. I'll, well, pop, pop rock, I don't know, trip pop perfection. 
It's a grass song. On Melancholy Hill. Melancholy Hill, there's a plastic tree. I probably love it the most because uh, what Mojo is going to say that it is very Beatles inspired. So that's probably the reason why I love the song so much. Poppiest songs the gorillas have ever done on Melancholy Hill is also one of Plastic Beach's biggest highlights. It's pretty Beatles inspired melody yeah. and the retro feel of its I just love to watch like this. Song that deserves success. Sadly, it didn't charge like Jellyfish getting uh getting murdered through a submarine. One guy was like, Oh, you killed some jellyfish, and the driver was like, I don't give a shit. This is the best song of Plastic Beach, arguably of their entire career. Just love this song, man. Um, next song, how's it called again? Oh, don't say uh, Dirty Air. There we go. I was thinking about you know famous movie guy, not Clint Eastwood, that other guy, Dirty Air. There we go. Arguably, I prefer this over over Clint Eastwood, not per se actors, but the song. Because um, I just love Demon Days, it's fucking fantastic. And I think Clint Eastwood is a little bit too overplayed for me. It's good though, it's a great song, but it's probably, it's probably one of my least favorite Gorilla songs, really. Besides, you know, the other classics. I, I do love that, like, that's... That like that uh, small kid, like that really. What is the word? That um, just small, just skinny looking kid having a J Jason. Uh, what's what is uh, a Jason mask? That's pretty cool. After Clint Eastwood, and keeping with that theme, this track was named. And then having a hairlock through that eye, the eye hole. That's pretty funny. Having an eye for detail, gotta have it. I think it's pretty cool though, the rap verse. Finished version of a track that Damon Albarn sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty neat. Solo EP. I don't really mind the rapping, honestly. Kind of gives it a yeah. They're gonna say it is like on the number two spot, but it gives it kind of that extra punch. I think. I do agree with you, Watch Mojo. There's like one hidden detail in the song where, where a guy, where a chick is like lifting her skirt up, like throwing her feet in the air, and like one boy's looking beneath the skirt. That would be probably me though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, there. There, I say. Number three. There. Featuring Sean Ryder. Isn't Sean Ryder from the Happy Mondays? Danger Mouse and a memorable spoken word part. Or Danger Mouse or whatever. Of the Happy Mondays. This song, Mouse, and a memorable spoken word part from Sean Ryder of the Happy Mondays. There this we go. It's one of the danciest on Demon Days. Is is Sean Ryder the singer though of the song? Does she play noodle? Topping the UK chart and cracking the US Billboard Hot 100. Dare has 2D doing the backing vocals and Roses Gabor as noodle doing the lead. Roses Gabor. Sounds good though. Music video featured references to horror movies like The Exorcist, The Birds, and The Ring. 
Still good ink. Number two, feel good ink. I love this song. But this might be my favorite too. Oh, this is really hard, but I think this is my favorite. I think Melancholy is second. I just love the drum and bass. Yeah, the, the drum and bass, like what Mojo said. I love the drum and bass on this track. I just hate it when Watch Mojo skips a verse, when you're all into it and then they skip it. Fuck Watch Mojo. I think the rap mixes well with the music. Probably an unpopular opinion, but I do like it. Uh, Styler. I just love that entire Plastic Beach album. Well, most of it. El Manana by uh, or Demon Days. Why are they shooting a noodle? Why is she getting murdered? I don't get it. Uh, tomorrow comes to die. I just love the kind of greedy, the kind of dark undertone that the song has. It's great. I believe this upcoming song it's probably the only bad song by Gorillaz, honestly. I do not like that song. Uh, the Fall or the Revolving Door by Gorillaz. It's probably the only memorable tune of that album, really. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Number one, Clint Eastwood. Everybody knows this song. Although some might argue that Del the Funky Homo Sapien was the biggest star in the rep verse. first charting track. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. That's the top of me is nothing because I'm counting no A. Clint Eastwood also has that unforgettable chorus. Referencing the guy they named the song after. There's not a uh, time with every man with that. It's a good song. The single was very much a sign of things to come. I do kind of like the the kind of harmonica, the kind of like laid back country vibe that the song kind of has. Not really, but a little bit. With you know the chill vocals from TD 2D, it sounds chill, melancholy, it sounds haunting, and it was a big hit, so as the band's first song to go gold in many countries, it was accompanied by a memorable animated music video. This is not one of my favorites. I do like the music video though, it has good imagery, but I do not like that song. Uh, that's probably the only bad song from the Gorillaz with uh, Don Kamatic. Even the title doesn't make any sense. Um, but I do really love the Gorillaz, I do love every song there except for that one. But uh, all, all of the other ones are pretty good. You know, as long... Well, mostly. Well, no, 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 no. You know, I was gonna say as long as Gorillaz don't have a feature, but you know, you have Little Dragon and uh, Mos Def and De La Soul, and that was pretty good, so there we go. Only that daily feature was pretty bad. 
But hopefully that doesn't happen daily. Kill me. Uh, yeah, let's kill or let's kill. Let's uh, watch the comments for a bit. Literally, all their songs are amazing. Have you heard humans, mate? Have you heard humans? Vlogering, uh, there, Clint Eastwood, Tyler, Ranzenhuis on 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 the melancholy hill. I believe it's on melancholy hills for sure. Dirty Harry, not two thousand mark on today, and Rock in the House. I believe that's not the title. Rock the House is the title. Uh, that's kind of a generic top 10, but sure. We need a 2018 version like yesterday. Wait, what? The now now. I don't know what you're on about. Anyone like Saturn's Bars and Ascension? Uh, I like Ascension. I well, I don't hate, but I kind of the I don't really like Saturn's Bars. The outer tune and stuff like that. Not not really good. Darn it! I clicked on the Watch Mojo video. Big mistake. Meh, my mood. Me too. My favorite is on uh, my personal favorite is on Melancholy Hill, honestly. Yeah, that's probably my favorite with that super jelly, super fast jellyfish. Not really. Pokemon Jeff. Who else has memorized every single word in Clint Eastwood? Well, it's not really that difficult, so. Okay, I have a top 10 Gorilla song here. It is. All of their songs, all of their songs. Yeah, funny. Well there, well, there you have it. What's your favorite Gorilla song? Minus 11, all of their songs. What? Why did you put all of their songs on there and not all of their songs? Uh, yeah, redundant comment section is redundant. You can't really rank Gorilla songs, well you can, and there they did. The hell is Do Ya Thing at? I had a curse on Noodle from Dirty <laughs> and there when I was a kid. I mean, Noodle has a nice design though, I can, uh, you know, I, I, I can say that, so there we go. Lol, I had a curse on 2D from Melancholy Hill when I was young, younger. Oh, Jesus. You don't need to tell the whole internet, I, I guess. I feel Oh Green World is a really underrated song. Um, I believe that is from Demon Days. Feel Good Ink should be number, yeah, it should, it's way better than uh, Clint Eastwood. I, I love Clint Eastwood, don't get me wrong, the actor and, and the song, but... But yeah, they should, they should trade though, they should swap places. Gorillas fanboy with uh, 2D lol. Feel Good Ink should have been number one, anyone agree? It's been 16 years and I still have, haven't gotten the cool shoe shine. Uh, yeah, I believe this is a Rock the House lyric, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that's the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I've been on this. Um, and I do really like that they kind of pay this tribute. You know, uh, Demon Days, that they pay tribute to the Beatles' Let It Be. You know, kind of like having such a face like this to the side and four guys and have, having made a cover about that. You know... Um, I don't want to say it, but Beatles did it first, so there we go. But it's a bit. I probably prefer the Gorillaz cover, really, and the album for that for that for that matter. But uh, let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. I've been on this. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless, safe, take care. Or I said, I said it again. Yeah, you know people are complaining that I said, that I say God bless. But it's an automatic thing that I do, so fuck off. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Some more videos, live is one and And I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know your favorite Gorilla songs in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.